All right, video number three for the week. Um, we're going to start off with different ways to draw lines. <clears throat> um, I changed I changed the background color on my screen to white, make it a little easier for you to see <clears throat> the lines that I'm drawing. I think uh, I'll see how these kind of play out. Um, because it's been quite a while since I've done a lot of AutoCAD videos. Um, and I changed my line color to red, just to make it a little easier for you to see on the video. So, um, the line command, so if I press L for line, uh, okay, it asks me for the first point. I can click a point, or I can type in a point. Now, one thing, one thing let's talk about it a little bit before we get into it. In, in AutoCAD, we have what's known as absolute coordinates, which is the, the it's like in math, the absolute value. Okay, the absolute coordinate. Meaning it's wherever it is based on the origin or the zero, zero point. Okay, think of it as, <clears throat> okay, the house where you live your address, <clears throat> okay, that is your absolute coordinate. But if you were giving someone directions, you know, like from your house to, I don't know, Domino's Pizza, you know, you could give them the address of the pizza place, the absolute value, or you could tell them, I go down the street here to the right for two blocks and then turn left. That would be a relative coordinate. And we deal with both in AutoCAD. Relative coordinate means it's relative to the last known point. All right. So in our line command, I want to start this line. And you can start it at 0, 0. I'm going to start it at 1, 1. And press Enter. And so you see, it started my line there. <clears throat> now, if I wanted to draw... Uh, a horizontal line, we'll say five units long. There's a couple of different ways I can do that. If I drag my mouse down and I've got some snaps turned on, if I've got ortho mode turned on, I have no choice but to only go that way. So I'm going to say five. And then same way, if I want to go vertical, I can only go vertical. But I'm going to turn ortho back off and I'm going to turn um, polar tracking on. And you can see it will snap at whatever the settings are I have there. Uh, we'll say 45 degrees, and I want to go four units long. Okay. And let's go up, uh, I don't know, two units up. Okay, so I'm going to press escape there. And I'm going to turn polar back off. If I wanted to draw snap to grid, so I turn snap on, start my line command and it'll snap to the object point of an object but you see my cursor wants to jump and snap to the grid and it can get very confusing trying to use snap to grid so that's why I, I rarely rarely use it And I, I, I know I want it to go a certain distance. And, and let's say, um, oh, one thing I probably should tell you is, is the, uh, the quadrants in AutoCAD. So it doesn't matter where you are in, in your drawing space. Horizontal to the right is always going to be zero degrees. So... If I start a line there and I go to the right, it's zero degrees. If I go up, we've got positive angles going up in the Y direction. Of course, Y is 90 degrees. If I go to the left, west, that's 180 degrees. Okay, and if I come down here, it's... It's reading it as 90 degrees from the zero point, but it would be a negative 90 degrees. Okay. 
So you have to you got to remember that zero degrees is to the right in auto. The line command. First point. All right. When I type in values, the X value comes first. <laughs> I don't know what. Uh, I was just kind of beating around the bush here. The X value comes first if I'm going to be typing in relative coordinates. So if I want this line to be, we'll say, uh, two to the right and one up. So I would go two, and I can go comma or tab, one. Okay, so you can see two spaces to the right and one space up. Okay, now if I want this to be two spaces to the right and, and one space down, I would go two, comma, negative one. Okay, and let's say I want it to be back to the left and down. So I would say negative two in the x direction, minus one in the y direction. Okay, so that's one way we can control the direction of lines and lengths of them when we know they need to go to certain coordinate points. Okay, oftentimes you'll, you'll have a line, you get a start point, and, and you have a known distance and a known angle it needs to go. So I could tell it, um, I don't know, we'll, we'll say five units long, um, but I want it to be at 21 degrees. Okay. So let's do that again. Uh, first point here. And you notice by default, it's got the angle in my dynamic input there. And so if I were to say six, and, and I'm pressing the tab key most of the time here, let's see. What happens if I do the comma? Comma, it defaults to a relative coordinates. So tab key, I'm going to go six and go tab, and it keeps it in the angle format. And uh, I want it to go down, so I'm going to say minus 30. And you see it comes down at a minus 30 degree angle. Okay, um, so that's pretty much a lot about drawing lines. Um, command options, rectangles. Um, circles, we covered circles, arcs. Arcs are confusing um, because of so many different kinds that you have. And honestly, you just have to play with them to get a feel for how they use, how they work. And oftentimes, instead of messing with the arc command, I just draw a circle and trim it. Uh, to me, I find that easier because when when you go to drawing arcs, the one of the things that you always <laughs> you always end up having a problem with is it going in the wrong direction, the curve going in the wrong direction. But we let's you know we'll we'll play with a couple of them. Um, the start would be just that the start point of the arc, and in the center of the arc is the radius point of it and so i'll do there and then the end of the arc and now you see it's it's like going in a different direction and so if i press down control on my keyboard it'll go in the right direction that i want it to go in ah but it changed i have to hold it while i click okay there's all kinds of options where like well like we just had here the start center end 
you got start center and an angle that you can tell it you want or the the links just play with just play with all of these different options and then you can see how the arc command works uh, but like I said honestly nine times out of ten I just draw a circle and and then trim that circle okay um, We've got a little bit more time on this video. So, um, hmm. I'm looking at my notes of things I need to cover in this. I've talked about coordinates. Um, let's talk about units. Okay. So, in, in the drawing environment, <clears throat> units are just a numerical value. There's no inch or millimeter or anything like that in the drawing environment, okay? Um, when we go, if we go to insert something in to our drawing, then we have to say, are we doing this in millimeters or are we doing it in inches? When we go to apply dimensions, well, now, we have to we have to say inches or millimeters but i don't think because i said that in in the drawing environment everything is just units that it doesn't matter uh whether you have inches or metric because if you're drawing something and it's to be you know one inch tall but you use a metric template to do that with now you've drawn something that's one millimeter tall and vice versa, if I draw something, you know, if, if I'm supposed to be using a metric file, but I use an inch file, and I draw it, you know, 25 millimeters tall, which is just a little bit over an inch, but I'm doing it in an inch file by mistake, now I've got it at 25 inches tall. Okay, so it makes a difference what template you're using, but it's all based on units. So let's look at our units command. So on the keyboard, I type U, uh, I type U in for units. And here's, um, this is drawing units, not to be confused with dimensioning units, okay, but drawing units. And my types are these. Architectural is going to be feet and in inches. Engineering will be decimals of a foot, you know, a foot and whatever. Fractional. Um, most of the time in this class, you're going to be working in decimal type length. Precision. Uh, it's always good to have it up, you know, at least three decimal places. Okay. Angle is going to be in decimal degrees as opposed to degree minute seconds grads, radians, or surveyors. Um, most everything you're going to do is in decimal degrees. And I like to keep my precision at least a couple of decimal places. Um, and this will help you because if you're drawing angled lines with the mouse, you can see where you've made an error. Okay. Now, here, where it says insertion scale, uh, is set at inches, because this template is set up in inches. Okay. So, this is how you can tell. If, if it were a metric file, then the insert units would be in millimeters. But it's an inch file, so we're going to leave it at inches. So, I'm going to say, okay. So, that's, how, that's what drawing units are. And so that's why when I look at the properties for a line, it tells me it is 4.0 inches long or units long. Okay. Uh, angle, select objects. Okay. So if you have to select 
lots of things. So yeah, I don't know. Uh, we're going to be drawing on layers, and we'll talk about layers in, in another video. But sometimes you may want to select lots of objects at one time. So if I right click here and go down to quick select, um, I can select items based on se several things here. Maybe the color. So I want to pick all things that are red, we'll say. And I tell it, OK. All right, so it selected everything that was red. Um, change that so now I'll demonstrate that again to you uh, select everything color in red okay so you see it selected everything except for the blue arc and just because I changed a color up here don't don't start doing that okay I'm just I'm doing that to kind of demonstrate to you what's what's going on here uh, but the quick select can be very can be very useful because you can select based on the layer or line type, you could select all hidden lines or all center lines at one time, things like that. Mostly you use color and layer uh, if you're doing this most of the time. Okay. And okay, I think that covers a lot of what uh, we need to talk about just to get you started in with the drawing stuff this week and let's see um assignments yeah so um this week uh it's pretty easy getting cad installed uh learning about our softwares here and i'm going to have a couple of drawing files that uh, I want you to complete and then submit through Blackboard. Okay, sounds great. If you've got questions, come come to the lab, get some assistance, send me an email, uh, and we'll get you helped out, okay?